Well, that I'll say just improve while you're young because yeah. when you're young you get more experience from the coaches and all that it's right a, now to drive if oh, I say I give you a million dollar now like okay what kind of car will you go for uh probably a Rolls Royce if I had a million dollars no nah. a couple of days there's gonna be a couple of fights coming up right yes Ryan against um David Annie Ryan. tomorrow David. yep so what do you got <laughs> Mic check, can you hear me? Mic check, mic check, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Inside combination and move with that punch, remember? Slow motion first, boom. Remember the inside, right here, bop, boom, 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 boom. Okay, what's your name? Miley. How old are you? 11. From a scale of one to 10, how much do you like boxing? A 10. Hey, hey, go, show me the walk, show me the walk. Back it up, show me the walk, there you go. Show me the walk. Nice, show me the movement. There you go. Just, you know, whatever you do, do it 100%, so when you do, come up to whatever you're doing and you got to really do it, you know you're doing it 100%, you prepare for it. If you're not prepared for it, then you're only going to leave you with doubt. So do everything, do it all the way. Don't do it halfway. Jesus and Carlos, Carlos will be his first fight and made it to the finals here <laughs> at Regionals, which is very impressive, you know. So I think, uh, you know, they're going to do good out there and, and will possibly win, so you know. Every time you're putting work in in the gym, it's like you're putting money in the bank. Now I need to make a withdrawal. And Ryan waited to the right time, close to the fight. He's angry. The dad's embarrassed. The dad said, the dad said that never happened. The dad said that never happened. It, to me, from a fighter standpoint, I'm angry. Pretty good. Good, good, good. That's, uh, How you doing? That's your friend? That's my friend. Okay. Nice to meet you guys, man. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. It's, I like to make it more, you know, more cheesy. Just, sure. yeah, even a little conversation before, yeah, just to lose up a little bit. Uh, actually, we're gonna do it in the middle of the ring. ring so, but, you know, yeah. Did you go to school today? Uh, mm, yeah, I did. Oh, okay. How was the school, though? How did what? How was the school? How was school? school? It went good. 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 Yeah. 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 Could walk around, just lose up a little bit. You know, give me like a five minutes just for me to, to set up. Yeah. Can you believe I was here a what few days say? ago? What'd you say? I was in here sparring a few days ago. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel different though? Does it feel yeah, different? Yeah, empty, yeah. Oh, okay. Me in here. Okay. I'm back to the home. Okay. Okay. We're already rolling. All right, just don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Mic check, mic check. Make it. Set up real quick. No interview. Interview? No, that's my first time. It's your first time? First oh time shit! Ever. That's good. Mm -hmm. What's going on, people? Welcome back to you know the Mala Dream Boxing Gym Podcast. You know, boxing podcast. The first time ever in the state. The first time ever in the city. We set a trend, and the rest follow. And today, I got a big one in the house, man. 
What's going on, brother? What's up? What's going on? How you feeling? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing okay. Um, for a lot of people who don't you know, know you right now, I know you're going to be big, but can you introduce yourself? So I'm Brian Duarte. I can't. I live in Oklahoma City, born and raised. Um, right now, as a three-year boxer, zero fights, none, just sparring, all that. And zero yeah, fight. Zero fights. What I know. happened? Surprising, huh? Yeah. I know. That's what everyone tells me. I'm too good you for. Need, they need to get you a fight. Yeah. Your coach needs to get you a fight. They really, really need to get you a fight. I don't know why it's taking you a longer time to get a fight. So this is how we're going to start. This is not interview. Mm -hmm. It's like a conversation, you know. Yep. We're trying to get to know you. The state, the city, we're trying to get to know you, right? Mm -hmm. So let's start off with this. In a couple of days, there's going to be a couple of fights coming up, right? Yes. Ryan against um, David Annie tomorrow. David. Yep. So who do you got? I got Ryan Garcia just because... Okay. I looked up to him more, you know. Okay. Since I was younger, I've been knowing him more longer, and I didn't really know Devin Haney like that. Okay. So I think I look up more to Ryan right now. All right. It's going to be a great fight, though. Mm -hmm. So Tank, too, in the next couple of weeks, yep. Tank Davis is going to be fighting, too, uh -huh. against uh, Frank Martin. What do Frank. you got? Do you know Frank Martin? Uh, not really, not really. I, but I know more of Tank's side, more okay. more his fighting experience. That's why I choose okay. probably Tank over Okay, Canelo. Canelo. Canelo is one of my against, one of my main fighters. Okay. My tops. So you picking Canelo against uh, the opponent too? Yeah. Come that's, on, man. That's my main fight right there. So, so, so Mike Tyson against Jake Paul. Oh, Mike Tyson for sure. Really? Mike Tyson. He old though. He's old, but he still got it. He okay. still got it. Okay. Okay. Jake Paul. I mean, he's good and whatever, but I say, I say Mike Tyson still got it. Okay. So, what's your view on uh, Jake Paul? What's my what? Your view. My view. Jake Paul um, as a boxer. Like, do you think he's a good boxer or just, it's just. I think he's a good boxer and all that, but he calls out everyone and I feel like that's good, don't get me wrong, but I feel like he be calling out just random people just to get views and all that yes. stuff. Don't get me wrong, that's, that's good, but okay. I say, in my view, he's one of, no, I wouldn't say one of the best, but he's like in the middle. In the middle. So. That's good, that's a good answer, man. So, why boxing? Like, out of all this part, that what drew you to that that sport of boxing? My dream. Because um, you have basketball, you have. Yeah. When I saw you, you to me, the way you was, you know, moving on the mm -hmm. in the ring that day, I, I felt like you you have. Do you play football? No, I never played football. Okay. I tried it every now and then, but okay. it's like. So what drew you passion. to boxing? Why boxing? Why box? Since I was younger. It was my brother-in-law that introduced me to it because he was it was always his dream too okay so ever since he got into it he brought me since i was like eight younger something like that and he was always like my role model like growing up and all that stuff so ever since then he always brought me about my gear all that he was took me every day and every time i would spar like i would like it like you know i wouldn't care about getting beat up like i just like the sport i just wow. love doing it and all that that's what's up. Can you remember your first time in the ring or first time you sparred people? First time I sparred, I remember. First time I ever sparred, it was this 12 year old and I was like eight years old right. and he was like way bigger than me and heavier. How old are you now? Right now I'm 15. So you've been fighting for like about seven years. Around, but it was on and off. On I and off. stopped okay. and kept okay. going. You took this year two years ago? Yeah, so I was on and off. But yeah, the first time I ever sparred, was a 12 year old, I was eight, and I remember I got beat up. I got knocked out like four times. I was, I was crying back and forth when I left the gym. Yeah. I was sad and all that, but I don't know. I just felt like when I cried that night, it, just, it made me love the sport even more. Wow. That's why I loved it. Wow. So you grew up in Oklahoma City, right? Yes, sir. So what was growing up like for you? Like you're 15, you're still young, but like, mm -hmm. okay. Can you remember some of your earlier days in the, you know, growing up in Oklahoma City? Um, I just really have a fun experience over here than other states. Like I'm not, my family's from El Paso, Texas, and oh. Mexico. That's where all my family's at. So every time we get the chance, we go down there, go visit them. Every now and then they come visit us. So wow, so funny. I used to walk in El Paso. Huh? I used to walk in El Paso. You close did? to it's close to El Paso. It's called Pecos. I don't know if you know Pecos. Pecos, Cosbach. It's close to all those areas. Yeah. So. Wow, that's good. That's good. Um. Um, your training, what's your training 
a regimen like, okay, you go to boxing gym Monday through. I, for me, I try to go like, I try to work out every day of the week day. and then okay. try to take Sunday off, you know, try to get my muscles relaxing. But every Monday through Saturday, I try to work out. Monday through Saturday, or really? Monday through Saturday, yeah. Monday through Saturday, I try to work out. Even if I don't want to, I try to go, try to do a workout. At okay. least, if I don't go to the boxing gym, I at least like try to lift weights. I want to do like some kind of workout during the day, you know what I'm saying? Wow. I don't want to lag on something I actually like to do, you know? That's, that's good. So, yeah. from how many days do you go to boxing gym? How many days? Yeah. So, at my gym, yeah. it's Monday through Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, Monday through Thursday. Same, same and right Friday, time. he takes a day off. Day off. But I, I try to go to the weight gym, you know, I try to get some weights in. If can not, they, wait, can they allow you to get to the weight room? Huh? Do you go to like a regular gym? Because you have to be out home for you to go to the regular gym. 14 like at home gym, like weightlifting gym? Yeah. No, nah, I go to, it's called a YMCA. YMCA, so okay, I go okay, to. okay, okay. Yeah, that's where I go to. And yeah, I go there every, every night after the gym, every night I go to the gym. I go to the YMCA, go work out, either play basketball. That's my second sport too. Okay. And... Yeah. How tall are you? How tall am I? I'm like five eight, five seven. That's good. Mm -hmm. So we gonna do a little quiz, man. Give me your top five. Top five boxers, man. Uh, I don't want the old school. I want the current. Yeah, current one. Current. I'ma say Canelo. Canelo, Canelo Alvarez. is your number one. Uh, yeah, number one. Okay. Uh, I say Pibbles up there. Pibble. Okay. That's Pibble. good. He just won his fight. Yeah, Pibble. A couple of days ago. Uh, probably Ryan Garcia. Three. Who else? Who else? Mm. You have uh, Shakur Stevenson. You have uh, Teofimo. Teofimo, there you go. And okay. Teofimo Lopez. Um, who else? There's just one boxer. You have Batisi, Terrence Crawford. Emilio Vargas. He's oh. brand new. He's a brand new is fighter. He's a fighter? He's a brand new fighter. I like ah. him a lot. I like the fight style he has. So who's your number one? My number one, Canelo, yeah. right Canelo. now. Canelo. Yeah. Why? Why I don't know. Ever since I was younger, ever since that Floyd fight of Canelo okay, and him, it was, it was just. Wow, he's right I there, man. It. Yeah, right there. We got, <laughs> we got it on the, on the. You know, that's what's up. Um, do you? If I ask you, what do you think your strengths are in boxing? My strength. Yeah. Um. My strength. What do you mean by strength? Your strength, like okay, you know, we have weaknesses and strength. Weaknesses yeah, and strength. Yeah. As far as your boxing skills is concerned, okay, what do you like? Your go-to, like okay, if you're getting beat up so like so bad, like okay, the one boxing skills or whatever that you think like might help you out. I saw you when you spot that day for me. I saw it, but I don't know if that's yours. Too. Yeah, well, I don't know my strength. I don't know. I just you gotta figure it out, bro. Like every you're very time. quick. Every time I got a spar or anything like that, and I think I, I try to see how they are before yeah. I fight. So I try to see when they train, they spar, okay. like even if before me, if they train yeah. and we hop in the ring, I, I always had that Mike Tyson stare. So I always like if I look at him when I'm sparring, I always like give him a dead eye, like straight, straight, straight face and all That's that. Nice. So I can like intimidate them sort of. Wow. And. I don't, I just every time I don't really try to get myself beat. Right, I'm, I gonna try to I'm gonna tell you up. what I saw. I saw three things. First, you're very quick. Mm -hmm. and you're very bouncy. Like you know, your toes, your like feet are not huh? on the floor like you. Like you know, and mm -hmm. your your hook, left right, great. Yeah. Cause the guy that you spar, he was shorter than you. He was trying to get mm -hmm. inside, but you keep checking it. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, it's because where I got that from is from my one of my old school um, fighters. Okay. His name is Johnny Tapia, and he was like, in my eyes, he's like one of the best. Like his interviews, like his videos, like his, all his fights, like that. Did he make it big? Or it's just on the. Uh, back then, I get. I think he was big. But it was big. Okay. I saw like video. It's because he died in 2012, so oh. he hasn't been fighting. But back then, when I see his videos, I just think. Like, I like his fight style, like his that's hooks. Right. I'm, I'm always like a hook fighter and all that. So that's where I started learning my left and rights, my hooks, okay. all that. And that's how I got better at it. I just keep swinging up my hooks and all that. Wow. That's great. That's mm -hmm. great. Um, do you know any boxing in Oklahoma City? Like, uh, 
let me say pro or amateur boxer that's coming up that you know, like, okay, he can fight? That I know? Yeah. No, not really. I don't really be looking at other people fighting. Unless I'm ready to fight, I swear I'm... Okay. I'm gonna looking. mention, like, a few people. Then you tell me if you know that. Do you know er Enric Valencia? Yeah, I do know him. Okay, you know him? I do know him. Do you know, um... I'm trying to... Do you know, um... Brandon Noriego? Brian. Brandon. No, I don't think I do. Yeah, no. Okay, do you know Zeke? 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 That name sounds familiar, but I can't, it won't click in my head. Okay, do you know Elijah Pierce? No, I don't. Okay, Elijah. do you have your phone with you? Yeah, I do. Check, check Elijah Pierce. Elijah? Yeah, Pierce. You from Oklahoma City? Elijah what? Pierce. P I E R C E. Oh, Elijah Pierce. Isn't he, isn't he pro or something like that? He's a pro, yeah. Yeah, I have seen him. You seen him? Yeah, I know who he that was, is. He was, yeah, like uh, before his last fight. Yeah. Like three days before his last fight. He was yeah. here at the gym, just, you know, just to show some love and all that. Yeah, I seen, I seen a couple of his fights. Okay, do you have any goal? Okay, let me ask you, at what point do you know, like, okay, you can fight? Do people tell you that you can fight? Uh, not often. I never really got the compliments like that just because I never went to major gyms like that. And But I guess now I'm starting to get more recognized just because I went to the gym I'm going to right now. I'm getting more recognized on Facebook, on my coaches' Facebook pages. So that's where I'm getting a little bit more recognized. You're a box you know? office. I'm not going to lie yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You just... You've been hiding yourself for so long, man. Yeah, I really have. I remember, I've been liking it a lot, but now... I, I just have that motivation now to come back because a lot of people, my family, see my skills and all that. They just motivate me to keep going and all that. Yeah, because I told those people that I spy from the gym the other day, you're probably done. The person I was like, okay, this guy can fight. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking at your Instagram page. You didn't have no pictures, no video. Why? I don't know. I just never had that. When I was younger, I, we, we didn't really have phones, so okay. I was never like a post person, like none of that. So. You uh, I just post. never really post. You in the show business, bro. Yeah, I do need to. You gotta really post. Do, to. do you do you film your sparring? Uh, yeah, every now and then, yeah, but it's just for. You gotta me post person. thirty seconds to. Yeah, five. at least something to post. Yeah, yeah you, you know need what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to excuse my friend. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah. Even school, whatever. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. just put it out. Yeah, I'm going to pretty soon ever when I'm starting training more. And your bio too, it's not, it doesn't even it's show empty, that nothing. you're a boxer or you're a fighter, you yeah. know. You need to, you know. You're you, 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 you're going to be a box office, man, bro. You're going to be a box office, man. Uh, do you have anybody like uh, as a boxer that you look up to? I look up to, the per a boxer I look up to is Alex Salcedo. Oh, he, he's from I, here, right? He's from here. And yeah. I remember I used to go to his gym a lot back then, every day, nonstop. And ever Wait, since that I last fight, people never recognize you because I was surprised. Like, I was like, I go to, I don't want to say I go to all the boxing events, but like, I've never seen you. Even yeah. sparring, we come to people's places. I've yeah. never seen you before. Yeah, it's because back then, whenever I went to his gym, I didn't really have a coach or nothing like that. It was just me and my sister's boyfriend. Okay. And he would like get trained by other people, and I was just a uh, I wouldn't, I would say like left out basically. I was always the one training myself, always doing myself until that's whenever I started getting better and better just by day by day. And so there was this one coach named Mofles and that's where he started training me. Cause there was a day we were supposed to go spar and mm -hmm. I said, we'll go, but I didn't have the yeah, work for it, you know? And so that's where he called me up. He said, nah, he's staying here. And he, he started training me ever since then. And I guess now he's in Mexico now, so I don't okay. see him like that no more. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, so, so what's your your favorite food? My favorite what? Food. Food? Yeah. I don't know. I'm very picky with my food, but I want to say start I knowing food. stuff about yourself, bro. Huh? You, you, have, you have to start knowing stuff about yourself. So. I don't know. I'm very uh, picky. I would. I don't know. I'll probably say chicken alfredo. alfredo. I'm most probably. I thought you was going to say tamales. Nah. <laughs> But that's one of them, and there, there's uh, these one tacos I like. It's called Iscala. Oh, okay. And that's what I really like the most, too. Is it like a chicken tacos? Or? 
Uh, meat, bologna, ham, sausage, all that. Okay. All that meat and okay. uh, how you like it. So we're going to take a break? Yeah, let's take we one. come back. Yeah. You got hot now. <laughs> so, we back. Um, so, what's your day like? What time do you wake up? Um, my day, I say, I wake up at 7.30 in the morning, get Double ready. 30? Okay. 7.30 in the morning, I get ready for school, get ready, shower, go, go to school. After school, I finish my work, do my homework, try to finish it before the night because I don't like doing it during the night. And I also cut hair too, so yeah, no way. I, yeah, I start, I cut it hair too, so that's Wait, what I do. Do people pay you when you cut people? Yeah, there? yeah, they pay. You have me. a shop? A shop? Uh, it's at my house, so. Bro, and uh, be, listen. <laughs> that's what, I have a barber page. I'll be yeah, posting uh, every now. Oh, you have a barber page? Yeah. What's the barber page? Barber Jeff? page. Let me show you real quick. Say it and how I put it on. And yeah, I I cut hair. Oh. I try to cut as much people. Look, that's my barber page right there. Oh, Brian. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, that's what's up. Yeah, I try to cut. That's what's up. Come closer. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. So I was about to say something about your name, right? Your mm -hmm. name is Brian, right? Brian. So every other Brian has T out of hand. How come yours don't have T? <laughs> Oh, T on the last, uh, yeah. the last word? I don't know. As, is it the same like a Brian? Like, you know, like a Kobe Bryant? Because, you know, Kobe oh, has yeah, Brian, a T. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I guess that's what my mom chose, what she like, you know. I guess, well, like, I don't know. I don't want to say maybe she misplayed or whatever. Yeah. That's good. That's but, good. yeah, after after I get out of school, I cut hair. Um, after I get cut hair, I go pick up my friend. Um, after I go pick up my friend, we go to the gym. We go train for about... We try to get at least two hours of workout. workout. After the two hour workout, we go to the YMCA, we go run at least one lap, so it's like a mile and a half. And after that, we go work out, lift weights, try to get that muscle in, all that, and then eat, all that, get the protein the in. Great at school? What's yeah. the great at school looking like? It's all right. I'm not the best at school. But. Okay, okay. So, uh, what's your, in, the, in Oklahoma City, your favorite restaurant? Favorite restaurant? Yeah. Uh, let me help you out. I think I say Bubba's. A Bubba's. Bubba's. Okay. Chick fil A on this side. You have a McDonald's on this side. Which one we Oh, have? Chick fil A for sure. Chick -fil -A. I don't really like McDonald's. I just. Okay. It was with my summer here, so I can't really. Oh, you on this side? Oh, it's you on this side. You said what? Oh, you or it's you? Oh, you. Oh, you on top. Why? Oh, you on top. I don't, that's what my family goes for, so that's what I go for. Have you been to the games before? Yeah, for sure. OU games. Okay. What about OSU? No, never. No. I don't. Well, they're a cool team, but I look up to OU way more. Okay. So, what are your goals as an amateur? Boxer? My goals. Um. I'm just trying to get better as I go. I'm trying to. Trying to spar more. Trying to get better in my stamina. Get all of that up, and then I'll say after that I'm gonna try to start sparring. By I I want to say by the end of December. Okay. I want to start getting into the fighting, fighting, you know, all the amateur and all that. Okay. And um, what's the name of your gym, you know? Uh, my gym, it's... What's um, the name? It's Savalas Tigers. Savalas Tigers? Okay. Yeah, but it's it's like a house, so... It's like a house? It's not, a, it's not like a gym like this, okay, but it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. a little house. Yeah. So, so what's your coach name? How my many coach coaches is, do you have? You only have? It's only one coach. So what's, what's the coach name? His name is Savala. Savala? Yep. Okay. I might have seen him before. Yeah. Yeah, I might have seen them before. All right. Um, so, how do you stay motivated? Like, what? How do I stay motivated? I say my role model, which is my brother in law, my friend Eric, my family, like all them people. Okay. They always looked up to me, always made, helped me grow, like all that. They always helped me throughout any situation I need and all that. That's what's up. Uh, so, from scale of one to ten, one being the, the least and ten being the, the, the best. So, how will you? Rate your boxing skills. My boxing skills. Honest, yeah. Uh, me personally, I probably rated like a six. Six. I wouldn't say I'm the best, but I'm up there, you know. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. So, what do you like to do for fun? Like video games? For fun, I say I probably go play basketball. 
Uh, basketball, my friends, yeah. So how good are you? Skill of one to ten basketball. At basketball, I was Trash, I was right? getting there until I started getting more into boxing. But right now, I probably say about like six two, same thing. I'm pretty good at basketball, so actually, really? seven. yeah. That's what's up. You like football too, right? Football, um, it's nah. not not really. He's up looking there. at you. I was looking at your hairstyle. You give me like a, you know, a party my homes. Party my homes. Yeah. What's that? Do you know my homes? Yeah. Oh, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick, oh, yeah, 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 I do know him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, um, who's your favorite basketball player? Uh, probably Paul George, PG. Oh, Paul PG? Yeah. Football player, best football player? Your favorite? Oh, football player? Yeah. Um, uh, I don't even know. I don't really watch, like, big football, football teams, like, teams that. like that. So, I could say a university, which is, um, Gabriel, which goes for OU. He left, though. Yeah, he left. But he left uh, for, I think, Oregon. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But, yeah, he was I'm really good. I'm surprised you know him. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's a QB, though, for, for OU. He was really good. Yeah, yeah. So what part of boxing do you like? Is it the, the, the rope? I don't know. I just always beat? had the... Oh, what's my favorite part of the, the workout? Boxing. Yeah. Probably... Probably the bag. The bags. Yeah, because that's where I put the most work in my hard punches. Wow. I think I think that. Okay. Do you like uh, any TV shows? Any YouTube that you like watching? Uh, YouTube. Yeah. Any. YouTube? I say if I get on YouTube, I'll watch like you like boxing videos and stuff like that. Like Johnny okay. Tapia, I was saying that's my favorite fighter. Okay. Yeah, like like film, like boxing film it's, and stuff yeah. like that. I'll be watching most of that. Okay. Besides uh, boxing, like any, do you watch any YouTubers? Uh, no, I don't think I watch it. I don't really watch YouTube like that. It's just wow. fights. So, all you do is just boxing and school? Mm hmm basically boxing, really? school, working out. That's just... Wow. Your coach, they need to get you, they need to get you your book. Yeah, I do need it. The, yeah. the passport to get, to get the fight. Because mm -hmm. you, you're decent. And if mm -hmm. they really put some, you know, some work into you, you, could, you know. Become, you know, one of the best boxers to ever come out of our Oklahoma, man. So, do you like school? Do I? Uh, not really. I don't know. I just not really a school smart, you know. No, I mean, do you car. like? You might not be smart, but you like to go to school. Some people just don't like school. Uh, I say I'm in the middle. In the middle. I say I'm in the middle. Yeah, like school's cool because I go to my friends and all. I see my friends and all that, but the work. I don't really like it, like all the school work and all that. But you know, I gotta do it. I'm trying to get my diploma, and all that. Finish school at least. Okay, that's what's up. That's why you have to take boxing serious. But mm -hmm. regardless, though, whether you like school or not, you see, you have to get some, you know, something. Yeah. I'm if it's just to get the the associate and still box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the other guy, I don't know if you saw him. You saw Robin. Robin, did he go here? Yeah, it was he? yeah, it's far. Uh, is the uh, let me see. I don't think I know. Let me show you. He still goes to he goes to OU and he's still boxing. So, and he's still very young too. So that's why you you know no matter what, you just gotta you know. Oh him yeah I have yeah. seen him. Uh, are you serious? Yeah he's very quick. I seen him. He's very quick. I seen him. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, Q, when, when do you think you'll be ready for your first fight? My first fight, I'll uh, probably around like November, October, somewhere there. Why November? I, I just want more practice. I want to meet more people, more okay. sparring practice, you know. Because I don't really, you know, I only really have one coach. Just, okay. And he, so if you have to fight, what weight class are you going to fight at? Uh, probably 125 to 130, somewhere no. there. No. Somewhere there, or lower. Somewhere no. There. You can't fight. Uh, 125, you should see people that fight 125. They're bigger than you. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but. and if I want to say they hold, they hold. You can't fight 125. You're probably going to fight about probably like 100. Yeah. 100? Yeah. That's going to be hard young. to get to lose 30 pounds. How I, I much you weigh? I'm 130 right now. No, I'm not 130. I'm like 135-ish. Yeah, there. you could lose. 30 in one week, if you walk out. 
That's gonna be a struggle. If what you mean struggle? That. You gotta cook. That's like no that's, food eating right there. Nah, nah. <laughs> For you to be a good boxer, you have to that's learn true. how to cut your own way. Mm -hmm. Like, I right, you you say in one twenty six, right? Mm -hmm. Ryan and any they're fighting at one thirty five. Yeah, they're big. They're freaking old. Elijah Pierce that I just showed you that you Google. Mm -hmm. He fought at one twenty two. Elijah the one I sparred. No. The one that I oh used Elijah to Pierce have. oh okay and when it comes it's way bigger than you oh so you can't say you're gonna fight one yeah. even yeah. though you wanna fight one they will let you fight one twenty six mm -hmm. but the people that you're gonna be fighting they're way way more mature and older than you mm -hmm. so if you go over there one twenty six at fifteen or seventeen eighteen yeah, you but, might be good but you could get beat up the same way Floyd yeah. and uh, Canelo. When Canelo fought Floyd, he was way too young. Mm -hmm. But if it's now, it's going to give him a problem. But yeah, that's true. So, so that's what I'm saying. But so that's me. Typically, I'm usually I go yeah. for all the challenges. You know, I never back down from no matter what. I just yeah, keep doing just, it. You know good. what I'm saying? But even then, that's one of my goals. I try to go down lower if I can. If I can, you know what I'm saying? But I say somewhere there. You know? Yeah. Try to go anytime lower. You know? Right now, I'm I'm just trying to work out. Just get, to, to get, yeah, I'm trying to get better. You know, so right, I, yeah. I'm not. My goal is not to lose weight right now. Yeah. But as progressing to do amateur fights and all that, I think I'm gonna start losing like way more weight. Yeah. Water. Cause um, you said November you're gonna be having you know your fight. Mm -hmm. So because before you fight, you can't just fight at any weight class. You have no. to You have to have a weight class. They have a ninety. They have a ninety-five. They have a Andre. They have yeah. a one ten. You're probably gonna, gonna be good for one ten. Yeah. So. so yeah, uh, for sure. You know, that's that's pretty much. And so, what advice can you give some of the, you know? What advice? Advice, younger boxer, probably they're like age seven or eight. I know you're still upcoming too, but yeah. you know. I say from from what you've been around boxing for like a couple of say two years, right? Yeah. So what what can you you know tell them? I say for my younger boxers yeah. and all that, I'll say just improve while you're young, because okay. when you're young, you get more experience from the coaches and all that. And I didn't really have the coaches like that, so I wish for all my young boxers to have a coach and all that to at least progress, you know, and all that. It's okay. for our young fighters. Okay, you're still yeah. young though, you know, stick to your coach, mm -hmm. you know, and you, you have a YouTube, you have a Google, just do research, you know, boxing style that you like, want to fight. You Are you a southpaw or? No, I'm normal. I'm you know. just the normal side. Uh, you like cars? Cars? Uh, someone. Really. I'm What's your favorite car? car? My favorite car right to, now? To drive. If, oh, I say I give you a million dollars now, like, okay. What kind of car will you go for? Uh, probably a Rolls Royce if I had a million dollars. No. I would get a Rolls Royce. We, Those cars are nice. You know how much a Rolls Royce costs? Like half a mil. No, but you already, if, if I give you half a mil and you buy a Rolls Royce, the money is almost gone. Uh, that's all right, at least I, I have some nice Rolls Royce. No, you can't think like that. No, nah, but if I did, but if I had the money and kept growing like that, or if you just gave it to me, I'd probably be smart with the money. Yeah, I know, but okay. What car right now? What car right now? Yeah. Probably Challenger. 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 Why? Wow, that's a fast car. Yeah, I don't know. I just like the Challenger. How the you have body a driver's looks. license? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. You know, and do you have any questions you want to ask me before we call it a day? Uh, any questions? Yeah, just open questions like, okay. No, not oh. that I know, no. All right, my guy, thank you so much. Hopefully, you know, um, I'm probably gonna bring you back in the next, let me say, next six months. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably six months or a year. I'll and be here. And I will see, you know, how far you've, you know. I'll be here. You've gone. Mm -hmm. you, trust me, if you really put your mind to it, bro, you're a box office. If I stick to it, yes, sir. Yeah, because I saw you fight, spar yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's so funny, I'm like, I asked the coach, Kike, you know Kike, right? Yeah, coach Kike, yeah. I was like, we gym, the, this guy, fighter. I'm like, I never seen him before. Yeah. But you have that 
the bouncy, you know, like you, you wasn't flat footed. Like you yeah. was, even though you was getting hit, but you still, you know, still moving and yeah. you very quick. Like I said, with your hook left, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I try to have like weight on me, like a a west a yeah. best weight. Yeah. And like a mouth breathing, so I can breathe. And you smart too. Yeah, I'm smart. I remember smart. one time you you you. I don't know how you did. You just you push your weight on him to mm -hmm. get him off you. I was like, oh, that's a pro style right there. Yeah. Yeah, I try. That's why I watch a lot of film and all that. Just see how they fight. Compare myself to keep it. Keep you know? it up, bro. The mm -hmm. sky's the limit, man. I can't wait to see you fight. You know, on the big screen, bro. Yeah. Thanks Hopefully so much. one day. Hopefully yeah. one day. You wanna hit the back for me real quick before Let's you go? go? Hit it. Yeah. Bare hand or with gloves or what? It's up to you. Do you have your gloves with you? Yeah, I do. I ain't maybe. Stay blessed and have fun. Yeah, you too.